You already know who it is. I'm back again for another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the K Box by EMK. Uh, this was sent by a gentleman from Germany called EMK. Um, all I've got to say is it took two and a half months to get here. Um, I finally got it um, and it's here for review. Uh, this is a wooden box. Um, would you call it a clone? Would you not call it a clone? That's up to yourself. It's a it's a wooden box that looks exactly like the um, the shield by Needleworks. Um, and looking at the box itself, it's beautiful. The wood is beautiful. The switch is beautiful. But there is some downside to this mod. Um, on the where you put the battery in here, what it is. You can see on the bottom of it, which I'll show you on the close-up, you can see residue of glue where everything the mod has been put in. The threading has been put in, there's still residue of glue. That is minimum, but that's the only fault with this box itself. Um, the mod itself is beautiful, performs amazingly, but the customer service for this mod was a pile of shit. Um, we waited, I got a lot of guys waited there for two and a half months to receive this mod after paying for it um, and there wasn't great communication be, by the mod maker himself. Um, I'm not reviewing the mod maker, I'm reviewing the mod and it's the company it comes from. Um, the mod itself is amazing, um, it hand, in your hand it's like a beast, it, you know it's really nice. Um, and obviously, but obviously the customer service is all a part of getting a mod. Um, and obviously when you get a mod from a certain company, you want it to be, you know, great customer service. If it's handmade, you want to see it um, in its stages, you know, you want to, you know, it, it could be classed as Hemo at the end of the day. Um, it could be classed as high end um, because obviously it is handcrafted and it is beautiful in itself and it is, everyone is different. So it could be Hemo. Um, but regarding the customer service on, on this mod from getting it from the, the mod maker itself was appalling. Um, there was no communication between it, you know, two and a half months wait for a mod that you've put money down on with no communication. You know guys, um, you get a clone from Fastech, you don't get communication from them but you only pay $15. £15. I paid £18 uh, for this. Um, I love the mod, absolutely love the mod, so I can't say anything bad about the mod. There is obviously things that I don't like about the mod, but apart from that it is amazing. Would I tell you and go get one? Would I? No, I wouldn't tell you to go get one because of the customer service. Um, the mod itself, off the bat, if the, for me personally, if the customer service and the actual mod itself went together, I would tell everybody in the world to buy this mod because it is beautiful but as a package no I wouldn't tell you to buy it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the table show you everything to with it I'll show some uh, comparisons with other mods the size of it and everything like that then I'll come up and I'll give my final thoughts um, okay guys so I'll see you down at the table all right guys so here you have a wooden parcel uh, this is how the K box comes with this nice wood box with like a, an elastic band made it and then the wood clip the, the appearance on this is beautiful really nicely made you know appearance is what all what it's about so you open it up here you have your gold coin and here you have your K box put the box to one side so there you have your K box absolute beautiful piece of kit Really, really nice. Here you have obviously your 510 here. And here you have your button, which is a brass button. And it's got a satin wood finish, which I requested, which is absolutely beautiful. If you wanted to know what this type of wood is, it's Coca Bola. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, so here you have the mod itself, the button. Really, really beautiful. Um, I know that you can obviously adjust your 510 here um, 
and then to get the button inside your mod which I've already got a button inside you basically get your gold coin which you got with it twist it to take off with your switch so your locking and your switch and that's copper there is the spring for great conductivity and as I say I have a battery in at the minute take that away and there you have the internals um, as I said in the close up you can see obviously the wood residue around the sides um, around the mod which you know that's that's just a me I don't know if it's me being picky but obviously you can see where it is a bit marked I don't know what you guys think obviously the, is it me being picky or not put a comment in the video am I being picky or is this can you see actually the wood uh, glue there um, so as I say all you do um, it doesn't recommend you use the EFES purples they recommend that you use the um, VTC 5s or 4s um, so all you need to do is obviously positive side up slide it in there you have it here put on your your locking connection turn it so as I say these aren't meant for the fests because it doesn't sit flush it's a wobbler you know it wobbles um, so you do need to have that recommended battery in there because obviously as you can see it is stuck out so it will wobble on that it won't stand straight um, so then all you need to do is obviously slide in your atty line it up nice get it in there and that's how it looks looks really beautiful um, if you do put the k light in there um, it will sit flush with the top of your mod um, but I like the 3.1 ES so I always have the 3.1 ES and I will have that in because I think it still looks okay even if you have uh, got it poking out the top of your mod um, and it vapes really well um, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, give this a vape So it vapes really well, you know it hits hard, it's beautiful, it, it's a really good looking mod um, So what I'll do is go back up to the table and I'll tell you my final thoughts guys And that's the uh, K-Box by EMK Alright guys so after seeing the K-Box up close, as you can see, beautiful piece of kit, really, really nice, um, hits like a fucking tank, obviously you have got your issues with it, standing up when you've got the incorrect batteries in, um, but apart from that, you know, it's really, really nice, it comes in this great little box, um, handcrafted, it's really, really nice, um, as I say, mine didn't come with a birth certificate, or mine didn't come with the K-Box right on the bottom um, don't know what happened there um, but obviously apart from that the mod is, is beautiful um, my thoughts on it is that it's definitely a beautiful piece of kit um, and you know handcrafted or everything to one side obviously apart from you know I'm talking about the customer service and everything like that the mod itself talks for itself uh, great switch, you know, it hits hard, it's beautiful. You know, it fits beautiful in the hand, you know, it's not clunky at all, it, it's really, really nice. I, I can't moan whatsoever about the mod. Uh, but scoring it wise, the mod itself. I'm going to give it a 9 because of obviously the imperfections with obviously the glue around the switch and it not standing up straight um, obviously with the incorrect batteries but you know it's a 9 um, customer service and for the for the mod coming itself and the time it took you know I'm giving it going to give it like a 2 um, you know I could give it 0 but you know I'm reviewing the mod not the individual person I'm reviewing the company as well as where the mod I got it from. Um, so on that, that's a that's a big downer for me. You know, I've had people with personal experiences 
with the mod makers had dif difficulties getting the mod and it coming through onto Royal Mail and not coming through at all, being sent back. Um, but obviously that, that's their issue, this is not my issue, my issue is basically with the communication with the mod maker uh, and obviously with everything that's gone on, on, on with the building of this and not being shown and everything like that. You guys might think it's petty but at the end of the day two and a half months for a mod you know is a lot a long time. Yes it has, it has been hand carved and everything like that and it's took a long while to get here um, but you know that that's my personal opinion you know. I, I get stuff bought in and it comes within a week, you know, it might not be hand carved, but that's an issue, you set yourself an ETA um, and, and that's what, you know, you're expecting your mod, especially when you've put your hard earned cash down on, on a mod, um, you know, you expect it to come within a decently manner. Um, so yeah, that this is the K box by ENK. Um, as I say, you can discuss whether you think it's a clone or not, but it looks exactly like the shield, works exactly like the shield. Um, so yeah, EMK, if you're watching this video, where's my birth certificate? Where's where's my bottom button with the, with the K box on the bottom? It would be really nice to have that. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, there we have it. The uh, K box by EMK, um, a German mod, mod maker or a German hobbyist, whatever he wants to be called. Um, and there you have it, the K-Box. Um, go check it out. Go see if you want one. I don't know if they're ready available or whatnot. Um, but obviously you've been paying different prices for the different woods that have come through and everything like that. I did pay £80 for this one. Um, and the mod itself, it will be a keeper. I am keeping it. I do think it's beautiful. Um, so thanks ever so much, guys, for watching. Keep subscribing, you know. Thanks ever so much for your support. And we will see you. See you later on, guys. Peace!